Well, you've got horse after that one. Listen, it's, you can sit here all day and moan about this and moan about that, but first half, we've probably just won the races, second half I thought we were excellent, very, mm. very good. I thought we were always on the front foot, doing the right things, uh, the way we want the boys to play. The second half, probably a wee bit, first half, sorry, was a wee bit stop-start and trying to get the ball moving and on a new surface and you've got to look at the, the weather conditions as well. It was probably one of, the, one of the kind of warmest days of the year uh, and it was difficult for the boys to play in. But full credit to them, we could have crumbled and obviously ended up 3-4 and they didn't. They came back for 10 men and two each away from home for for was uh, a very, very good result and really, really pleasing the second half performance. It was and boys coming on, boys coming off and it's not even just the boys who played, it's it's the full the full squad as well. If you if you'd been in the league game you'd have you'd been delighted with the point of getting away from home in the league. Listen, I thought you got a chance to do that again at Fortnite. Yeah, that's that exactly. I think <laughs> to go that's, one better. Aye, that's the thing for us, Mike. We we need to go and try and in the league format try and win as many games as we can. And the way we play I think we'll be we'll be totally fine. The week games where it'll be a bit frustrating watching it, but as I say, because you know this calibre the players can deliver on that second half performance, and we just need to get it on maybe 80 minutes. And as I say, listen, we'll we'll be totally fine. It'll, it's a tough league, and you look at four for they'll be up there at the end of the season. And if we can come away from home, put on a performance like that, we'll be totally fine. Jinky got a goal at last tonight. That'll help. That'll help him as well. Listen, Jinky's been excellent for us uh, at the top end of the pitch, uh, and what a finish it was to a touch and swing it with the left as well and great technique and listen the wee man a lot of fans maybe look at it and go oh we need, we need a striker in but if he turned on performance like this regardless of which striker we bring in Jinky will keep him in the team yeah. because he's been he's been excellent for us his attitude and training and his attitude and willing to listen and willing to run in behind and willing to come to short, come short of feet it's been listen he's a, he's a dream to work with and sometimes with Jinky a lot of managers maybe rip their hair out uh, because I understand his, his ability and sometimes you've got to give him that free spirit and listen, that's what the wee man delivers with us and hopefully he can go on and crack on maybe 10, 15 goals a season with performances like that, finishes like that, he'll, he'll not be far away. Clear up the red card for us, Jamie. I mean, it looked as if it, Kyle was booked first of all and then that, almost immediately he got a red card. Did he say something? What happened? No, I, I, for me, the first one was always a foul in the middle of the pitch but it comes back to, listen, I could spend all night on this talking about referees and talking about this. There's, there's no point, it's done me now. Aye. But you're looking for a bit of consistency. The boy's obviously been open and he's not over the top of the ball at any point. He's just trying to win the ball and he's kicked Sam. It's a yellow card. Kel, it's not much of a foul when he picked a silly yellow card in my eyes. And obviously puts himself in a position, allows the boy to get outside him. And nine times out of 10, that's always the outcome when you drag somebody off. And when he's on a second book and it's, it's difficult. Uh, but Listen, he'll learn for it. Uh, he'll learn for us. And as I say, when you're playing against good players, or people run, 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 run the channel. And Kyle's very, very quick. Uh, he'll make up ground. So he'll, he'll learn for it. He'll learn for a mistake. And as I say, we'll we'll be on his on his case, uh, helping him as much as we can. At the other end of the spectrum, Paul Woods looks as looked totally rejuvenated this season. S same again. I, honestly, I'm not look, I'm not looking to second of single people out, but. Like so the pre-season Woods he had as well, he was he was always top running. It reminds you of that kind of when you see stats of James Milner and things like that as well. <laughs> he, he seems to kind of be kind of bossing him uh, through age. But no, as I say, listen, the whole the whole squad's looking really fit, and as you see, you see performances turned in like that. The way the way we want to play, and same again, Mick. We always want to try and get the ball down, and and we'll we'll cause teams trouble uh, in, in our division. Well, the fitness levels have been amazing because it's three full-time teams and then a fourth game in, in, in the space of just over a week uh, in, in the hottest day of the year and they're still going at the end. Yeah, that's that as well. Like, and it triggers for the talk with Jinky and Robbo and Gal and Dylan and all, the, all these people who are ratting about and trying to get close to people and you don't give anybody time to get their head up and play good passes uh, and as I say full credit to everyone in the players tonight they stood up uh, when it could have been a difficult night on the back of three three not so good performances and result not maybe no performances because performance performances will, will, will have been okay just kind of maybe lost as many goals as what I wouldn't have liked uh, but as I say it's, it's learn it's part of the process of learning and we've still got a young squad and players 
we've still got shift to come back in and things like Craig is just back in now. Dean will still to come back in as well and hopefully we can add at the top end of the pitch as well. So listen, we're, we're in a good place and we just need to keep uh, bubbling away nice. Dean and Shifty, how close are they to being ready ready for the start of the league? No, I think they're still going to be struggling, but if, if we can get them back for the start of the league then so be it. But if 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 no then we trust the physio, we've got a new physio on in Lawn as well. So uh, full credit to her coming and helping us out as well, which is really important to be part of the background team. The $64,000 question everybody wants to know about new players arriving. I know it's going to be the same old record probably, but uh, are you any closer to getting something done? I've been there many times and people let you down and something else crops up and somebody else is wanting to offer them an extra £75 a week. Unfortunately, that's the nature we're in. We're competing against other teams who have got willing to put dangle that wee carrot and give them that wee bit extra bit of money and listen, I'm, I'm not sitting here blaming players players are entitled to go and get a wee bit extra money and it's listen, it's difficult to try and get players on a speaking to Gary as well before the game and you look at their bench there's maybe three or four players as well so it's difficult but as I say listen, I'm no, I'm not worrying one bit as I say, we'll we'll be fine coming start of the season and if it's I think there's still 40 days of the window left so well, plenty of time if we can get the right players in and it needs to be the right players for the squad yeah, because of the boys are uh, the boys are keen and want to listen and if we can bring people in who can disturb that then you can have a, you end up with a bad season but no listen it's no for no trying so we're trying to get players in every day we're trying to get on on the phone to managers on to players on to different things to try and get the boys help them out as well So and, and we need maybe a couple more so fingers crossed we can get that done in the next couple of weeks but as I say, we, we just need to go with what we've got them now, and if people can uh, continue adding to the squad, then so be it. And as I say, we'll kind of open them with uh, open arms. Well, hopefully tonight's the start of something good. Yep, thanks very much.